Hello, Basham family, and let's get into another holiday recipe with me. This is my mama's famous cornbread dressing, and yes, I know that everybody makes theirs differently, and you might make yours exactly like my mama's, but there's nothing good like your mama's cooking. Like, my mama didn't cook very much growing up, but when she did, it was really, really good. If you guys know, my dad was the cook in the family because he's from Louisiana, and he cooks his Cajun food all the time, but when my mama does cook, it's really, really good. Every year for Thanksgiving, she makes this for us, and it is so good. So I thought I would share her little recipe over here on YouTube. Y'all, she barely uses any ingredients. She's a simple cook, and it always turns out being so good. So she said to basically put so much seasoning into your water, and I use my little drumstick as a stirrer. How cute. Um, but this broth is very important to the meal because this broth is what you're going to use to keep your dressing wet and moist. And yes, I know that, that moist word is like awkward, but I had to use that word because that's what it is. I called her this morning and she said the two main ingredients are poultry seasoning. You cannot miss the poultry seasoning and unsweetened regular cornbread. So you need just a regular cornbread mix. You don't want to have any sweetness or anything like that because it'll mess up the flavor of her recipe. Her personal preference was chicken legs. That's what I used. And then she said just to use any unsweetened cornbread mix. That's what I did. You just make your cornbread exactly how the package makes it out to be. And I don't know what this magic poultry seasoning is, but she said, do not skip that step, that that is the most important thing. The only thing that I did not have, and I could definitely taste that it wasn't in there, was the sage seasoning. So make sure you grab some sage whenever you're making your um, cornbread dressing. And then this pan was entirely too big for the whole recipe because it's just for me and Gabe today. I didn't want to make a big amount, so I did bake it in this pan. But then whenever we went to go ahead and do the rest of the recipe, I put it into a smaller tin pan. But but the cornbread literally cooked in 10 minutes, so it was perfect. And this is the next step that is really important as well. She said you need to get some butter and you need to get some onions, some celery and bell pepper, season it up, and you need to cook these down to where they're basically petrified is what she said. Now, I don't know if petrified is the right word, but that's what my mama said. You want to cook them down so much that they're mush, like you want them to be so soft. Now, personally, I like a crunchy onion. Maybe nobody else does, but I do. So I think if I were to make this next time on my own, now that I know how to make it, I think I would not cook my onions down too much and kind of have that like crispy onion flavor because I think it's so good. And then you're going to take the same seasonings, garlic, pepper, poultry, thyme. And then I did a little bit of Cajun seasoning in this. I need to get my daddy's Cajun seasoning because, oh my gosh, it's so good. But then you just want to mix this down. And then I put mine on high. And then after a while, I went ahead and put it on medium heat. Like she said, petrify your vegetables. I don't even know if that's the proper way. I feel like petrified means like mildewed. But I was just boiling it up, cooking it up in the butter. And the butter makes it so dang good, you guys. And this is just bringing all the holiday feels what is your favorite thanksgiving dish i love all of it i would say sweet potato casserole cornbread dressing all the works i love actually mashed potatoes the mashed potatoes are my favorite i love mashed potatoes but mashed potatoes are definitely a year-round thing for me um yeah not gonna lie, cooking the cornbread in a bigger pan might have been a very smart thing that I did on accident because it cooked in 10 minutes and it was so easy to mix together and mash down. So I went ahead and just broke apart all of my cornbread. And while my chicken was still cooking, I went ahead and added in all the vegetables. I did boil my chicken for 25 minutes because that's what Google said. My mom says she just knows when it's ready. Well, I don't know when it's ready. So I had to just use Google. So I set a timer for 25 minutes and let my chicken legs boil up. I personally did not grow up with her putting a ton of chicken in the dressing. So I just put in a little bit of it, as you'll see in just a minute. And then this is the most important part. You want to use your boiling water, basically the broth that you made from your chicken legs to put into your recipe because it's going to make it taste so good. Now you could just use, you know, the boxed up kind. You could use rotisserie chicken. But if you have the time, I really recommend you do this because it just tastes so much better. Um, I definitely think a rotisserie chicken and boxed chicken broth is okay too but if you have the extra time this year definitely try out boiling up your own chicken making your own broth and putting it into your recipe because y'all it is so so good so she said that you want to put a ton of this um broth but because i was making a small batch i didn't want to use like her measurements because when she's making it for the family i'm sure she uses like five boxes of cornbread and i only used one um so i did a little bit at a time so i would put some in and then i'd mix it put some in and mix it she said you want it to be super super mushy almost like like gross mushy but I kind of did mine in the middle I didn't make mine as mushy as hers 
I also seasoned it up with some more poultry seasoning and some more garlic and a little bit of Cajun seasoning, but I did not show that because I tasted it and it needed a little bit more. She also said that some people put eggs in theirs. We don't use eggs. The only egg we use is in the actual cornbread like mixture. So at this point, I think it's kind of just personal preference. You add and go as much as you want. I feel like she would have made hers a lot more mushy than mine, but I was like, a few cups is good for me, girl. And then usually on Thanksgiving, we'll use the chicken for other recipes, but since I didn't have any other recipes to use, I went ahead and just took a little bit of the chicken and shredded it up with my hands, and it was so hot because I'd just gotten out of the boiler, and I did not want to wait because I was hungry. Also comment down below, I grew up on dark meat and Gabe grew up on like chicken breast. I feel like I only started eating chicken breast whenever I started, you know, dating him and stuff and eating at his family's house. But I grew up on dark meat. What did you guys grow up on? Because dark meat is superior. Then I went ahead and mixed all the chicken in back with my cornbread. And at this point, it looks like vomit. And honestly, you guys, it's the best vomit you'll ever eat. It is so good. I have my oven preheated to 350 degrees. I popped it in the oven for 30 minutes and it came out so stinking perfect. Also, my dogs are always with me. And here she is. I hope you guys enjoyed my mama's cornbread dressing. Love you so much. Bye, y'all.